we're going to use the side angle side and properties of shapes. So in this diagram, segment QS, that's from here to here, and segment RP pass through the center M of the circle. Okay, so we're thinking about circles and the parts that are circles. So those would be diameters, and then these little parts here would all be radii. Uh, what can you conclude about triangle MRS and triangle MPQ? Okay, so let's mark up. And first of all, notice that we're talking about side angle side. So if we're talking about that, they're probably wanting us to use that. Let's see what we can mark. Um, since these are, these are radius, these are each a radius, a radii, we can mark MS. It would be the same size as the MP and the MQ, and it would be the same size as the MR because all the radii will be congruent. They're the same distance from the end of the circle. Now, another thing that we can mark up is this angle and this angle because they are vertical angles and vertical angles are congruent. We learned that earlier. Now, if I'm just looking at this triangle here and this triangle here, I have an uh, angle that's in between the sides here, side, angle, side, side, angle, side. So I can prove that by side, angle, side, they are congruent. So let's say angle PMQ is congruent to angle RMS. And then just put over here to the side, vertical angles are congruent. Vertical angles are congruent. And then let's state that um, segment SM is congruent to segment MP, which is congruent to segment MQ, which is congruent to segment MR. And the reason is that all the radii are congruent. All radii are congruent. And I'm not even sure if I spelled that right. All right, so therefore, triangle um, MRS is congruent to triangle MPQ by side angle side.